Hi everybody, it's Peg here. Now, you know what a naughty girl I am. And first things off, I have to have a promise from you guys. Um, yesterday I told you that I would gotten this wonderful kit from Heather. And I can't keep my hands off of it. There's so many things in there to play with. And I'm sure I'm not going to run out of product just because there's so much stuff. But please don't tell Heather that I'm working ahead because that's what I'm doing. I'm having so much fun. I've just been playing all day long. And so I thought, well, there ought to be a portion of this I can show you, even though it's not my turn to share and yada, yada, yada. But shh, don't tell. And then she isn't going to know a thing about it, right? Shh, don't tell Heather. All right. So I wanted to create these flowers. And these are some that are die cut and embossed. Um, I, I did these on... Uh, my big kick using these are I think silhouette or no 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 not silhouette anyway one of those I, you guys got flowers there's lots of different flower dyes out there but um, I wanted them to kind of go with my project and I want to add some color and one of the things that I like to do is to use uh, a permanent color. So I've got these um, archival inks. This is a coneflower blue, which is one of Wendy Becky's colors, and it's really a pretty blue. And I'm just going to hit the highlights with this. You see how it's it's picking up the the raised areas on here. I'm going to do that on bunch of these flowers so pardon me you guys have seen me color stuff before this isn't going to take long I'm just applying a little bit of color to the raised areas and keep going here so how's everybody's day going I tell you we had rain again I'm so tired of this. I hope everybody else is having some dry weather, able to enjoy Father's Day, do something fun with the family. Um, my daughter sent the most special card to my husband, which made me so proud. Um, she's 45 and has a family of her own, and which, by the way, I have great-grandchildren by. Um, so, anyway... It was just really nice to see her recognize, because um, I don't know if you guys know, but um, my husband is their stepdad, but he stepped up to the plate and took over and uh, has been a wonderful father. So, yay, happy Father's Day, great dads out there. So anyway, now I've got this soft mat. Oops. What am I doing? I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> like I said, I'm the bad girl. I get distracted easily. So um, the other thing I've got are these Neo colors. I, I just picked these up mm, a couple weeks ago, and I love these. Um, these are a watercolor, but they're permanent once they dry, which I think is really cool. And I'm just going to use um, one of these. They're, they're a water brush, but they've got water inside, so I don't have to keep dipping. Yay for that. And I just pick up the color on my brush, and I can go in here and apply watercolor onto these flowers, okay? And you want to kind of work um, and keep them wet because you don't want that edge to dry. Um, that's one of the things I found with them is that uh, you want to keep working wet into wet. So just remember that as you're working because you don't want a line. You want to keep that. Oh dear, now my lights are acting up. I tell you, I have had the worst week with lighting. We are redoing the lighting in the basement. Ah, that's another story. Um, I had. Oh dear. All right, that's going. That's going out. We're not playing with that anymore. All right. See, I can get tough. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Getting some color down on here. 
And you see how they're blending beautifully? Um, I, I just think this is the coolest thing. Um, just beautiful, beautiful color. I know, watching paint dry, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to be doing this for long because I want to show you the next step. So, but I got to get a little purple in here because I do love this. It gives a little highlight there on my edge. Gorgeous colors. Anyway, I was saying lighting. Hmm. Yeah. Been a big chore down here this week and for a while now because I've been trying to get things done and then what we had in the ceiling was dying. So, hmm. What can I say? It's just been a struggle and evidently the stuff on my desktop is dying too. I really want to get some puck lights and put them around where I need them, but that will be another day, I guess. Okay, just a little bit of this. Do you see how rich that is? You can water it down as much as you want to, or you can leave it that rich, vibrant color. I'll let that go. Okay, so, so much for watercolor. Now, we go into the shaping. And what I have found with these is it doesn't hurt to work with it when it's a little bit moist. Um, just because your paper, then the fiber, will uh, crush a little bit easier and form into these shapes. So, I will start crushing away. And what I want to do is achieve a layered flower. So, I'm just making the petals pouring them like this, coming back in the middle, moving it around. And you can bend and shape these any way you want to, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm pinching the ends now to get a little curl to the petal. You can pinch them up, you can pinch them down. But what I want to do eventually is layer them up. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to layer them up just like this and create our own little beautiful flowers and one of the things I like to do like this piece here that will probably end up being a top piece just because it's smaller sometimes I will go in I don't necessarily like that they are this shape so I may come in and just give the petal a little more dimension by snipping into these and it's allowed. You know, it, you can do whatever you need to do to create, uh, you know, just because a designer made this flower in this fashion doesn't mean it has to stay in that fashion. Alter, alter, alter all the time. That's why I say alter. So anyway, so now you see I can come in. Well, let me do a little on the back here. I'll shape these petals. Quickly, quickly, quickly. You don't have to spend a whole bunch of time on this. You know, some people tend to think that you got to spend hours forming your flowers. You don't. You don't. Because they're <laughs> flowers don't take that much time. So, okay, so you see this one. I'm going to fold this one, pinch this one up. And I'm going to pinch this one down. And I'm going to pinch this one up. And I'm going to pinch this one down. And this one up, and this one down, and this one up, and that one down. And so you see, it gives you more of a star effect. And, and you can make that, you can mold that any way you want just by pushing it around. And then what you're going to do is you're going to layer these pieces and you can use um, dimensional foam if you want. Uh, there's all kinds of dimensional foam, foam tape. Um, you can use glue dots if you don't want it quite so dimensional. Um, these little mini glue dots work just well. And then 
<laughs> Another thing from Heather's kit. Shh, don't tell her I'm using stuff out of the kit, but I am because it's so much fun and there's so much good stuff in there. So these are these mica gold flakes. Aren't they pretty? <gasps> pretty. Ooh, pretty. Okay, so I put those right in the middle of my flower. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to show you what I'm making for the project for the design team. So you got to keep watching for that because those things will be coming up. But look at my flower. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, it's really easy. You just have to do those steps. I'll see you later. Bye.